Hello everybody and welcome to another Minecraft Bedrock tutorial. As you probably can tell, I absolutely love a door in Minecraft. <laughs> yep, it's one of those days. I've made a lava door. Love a door, a lava door. Now taking a look at this design, as you can see it is a 4x4 design and the redstone behind it is extremely compact but it is rather large. Now the reason for that is because both of these pistons on both sides, the whole bank of them, they are completely in sync with each other. Now not only does this make it look a lot better when it closes, but it also means that we can use this in the nether, because in the nether obviously lava runs faster, and we can use water instead of lava if we want to. So now let's look, take a look at how the door works. At the moment it is closed, because if we try to walk through there, I'm going to get rather warm. <laughs> we flick the lever, and as you can see, all the lava gets punched out and now we have a clean walkway and then we flick the lever again to close the door and the lava slowly makes its way down so slowly now if we just flick it off for a second and i'll just show you what it looks like with water if we just grab some water buckets let's just clear this lava out there we are now if we flick the lever as you can see, the water is obviously a lot faster, but because these ones are completely in sync, as we can see when we close it, no water runs out, it all gets punched away. And it looks, I think it looks really good with water to be honest. It's not as practical because obviously mobs can walk through here still, but uh, up to you. <laughs> okay, so let's get on with this tutorial. So for this amazing build you are going to need 32 sticky pistons, 1 lever, 12 observers, 4 droppers, 4 hoppers, 17 redstone repeaters, 42 redstone dust, 4 redstone blocks, 2 buckets of water or alternatively 2 buckets of lava, 4 comparators, 2 trapdoors, 4 rubbish blocks to go in your hopper dropper circuit, 58 blocks for redstone to go on, 4 slabs, 4 glass blocks and then however many blocks you need for decoration. So to start, have a 6x6 square like this, with the corners missing, so inside we have a 4x4 square like this. Now come over to one of the sides, come out one, two, three blocks, remove the first two, and then have two sticky pistons facing inward, like this. Then go underneath, like that, another one, and one more, like that. Then do the same on the other side, so block here, one more out and another one, move the first two, and then two sticky pistons facing inward, two underneath, two underneath again, and then one more, and move that block. Then underneath these blocks here, come out one, two, three, move the first two, sticky piston here, and move that block, and then a line of four, like that, and then come up to the top here, place a block here, one more, one more again, remove these two, sticky piston facing downward, remove this one, block here, block here, and then block here, remove the first two again, sticky piston here, then one underneath it, like that, then a line of sticky pistons, like this, and then we can finish these ones off here, like that. Okay, now what we want to do is grab some of your door frame blocks, so I'm going to be using slabs, and you want to go Okay, <laughs> go all around your door like this. Okay, then come to the top, grab some decoration blocks and place five like this. With redstone dust on all five. Place down a lever here. Or it could be on any of those blocks if you want. Block here. Repeater on two ticks. Going into a block. Block here, remove that block. And repeater on one tick. So two ticks, then one tick. Then place a block here in front of that repeater, then four more blocks going along, rest and dust on all five. Okay, so now our top section should be working. So these should extend, then these should extend down, and then they should fold away like that. So let's keep them extended for now. Then we want to place blocks like this, so four like that, then come around this side, place the same four on this side, but then two more underneath, and then we can take this all the way down, all the way around, and then all the way up. Okay, like that. Now come up to the top, 
Now we want a place for your lava or water to go. So we want to place blocks above these like this. Then a block here, one here and two here. So your lava will go here and it will go here. But do not put it in yet because that will be a mess. <laughs> just before you continue, something I forgot to do, just place some blocks here as well. And then place a block here. Okay, now come over to this left hand side. Now I'm going to do this bit quite slowly because it's quite tricky to follow along. So, firstly, remove the second and the fourth block from here. Place an observer facing inward here and inward here. Then we can remove, sorry, remove. We can replace these blocks like that. Then come over to this side, place a repeater here on one tick and a repeater here on one tick. Block here, dust on top. Then we want to place a block here. One up, sticky piston facing downward here, and a block of redstone here. Now we can remove these two blocks. Then place a block here, one more out, remove that block, an observer facing downward here, remove that block, block here, block here, dust here. Then next to this observer, face an observer facing downward, block here, slab here. Repeater on four tick delay going toward the door. Block here, another block here, and then dust here. Now after that, come over to this side again. Place a slab here, a block, a block here, then one up. Dust on both of these. Dropper facing this way, and a hopper going into that dropper. So crouch and place that hopper going into that dropper. In this dropper, place one of your rubbish blocks. So any block you could want to throw away. Then a block here and one here. On this block, coming away from this hopper, place a comparator. Then place a block here, one here and one here. Dust here. Now coming away from this block and away from the door, we want a repeater on one tick. Then a block off that repeater. Then dust here. And then a repeater on four tick delay coming away. So if we were just to power this, hopefully we'd have a double, a, pist a double piston extender on these. Just the first three, not the bottom one though. So to test this, if we just remove this redstone dust and then replace it, as you can see, we have the double piston extension on the top three, but obviously not yet on the bottom. Okay, so now we want a double piston extender on the other side. So come over to this side here. Now on the and come in here, sorry. On the second and the fourth, remove the blocks and place instead an observer here and an observer facing inward here. Then we can replace the blocks like that. On top of these observers, place a repeater facing toward the wall on one tick and another one. Block here, dust here. Come here and place a block, one more, sticky piston facing downward and a block of redstone. Remove these two. Then place a block here. An observer facing downward, remove that block, block here, block here, dust. Then another observer here, a block here, slab, block here and block here, dust here, and a repeater on four ticks coming away from that block. Okay, so now to wire it up to the main build. So what we want to do is come here, place a block, one more up, remove that block, dropper, hopper facing inward to that dropper. So again, crouch and place it on the dropper. Rubbish block, so should be in the dropper now. Block here, comparator, block. Block here, block here, block here. Dust here and repeater on one tick going away toward these observers. Then a block in front of that repeater. Dust here and then a repeater on four tick delay coming away. Now to test this side, if we just remove this redstone dust and then replace it, as you can see, we have the full extension, then retraction. And to give it a final test, we can just flick the lever. Nothing should happen, but when we flick the lever again, as you can see, they're both in sync. But now we have to do these bottom sticky pistons. Okay, now I'll come over to this side. And firstly, place another layer of blocks all around like this. And then one more. Okay, then come to the bottom here. Place a line of blocks like this, two out, move that block, and then four blocks again. And on both of these, place lines of dust like this. Then place a slab here, a block here. 
dust here, block here, one out, move that block, block here, one up, block here, move that block, block here, one up, block here, move that block, block here, and block here, move that block. Now place a repeater here on two ticks, here on two ticks, so from this block, into that block, into that block, repeater here on four tick delay, and some dust here, and some dust here. Now place some glass here, and here, dust on both, glass here and here, dust on both, and then some glass here. And what we should see is these pistons have now extended, like that. Okay, starting from the back again, come over here. So this next to this slab and next to this block, we want to place a dropper facing upward here. In that dropper, place one of our rubbish blocks, like that. Hopper going directly back into that dropper, block here, on top of it, place a comparator, block here, and a sticky piston facing upward, and we can remove that block. Block of redstone here, and then next to this block of redstone, we want a trap door. Now it should, as you can see there, it should close. If you haven't closed it, you've probably placed it on the sticky piston. Obviously you can't do it here, but you can do it on the other side. So when we do the other side, I'll show you. We're going to place a dropper here, like that. Dirt in there, hopper facing upward, block here, comparator, coming away from that hopper if I can, there we are, <laughs> block here, one up, move that block, sticky piston, block of redstone, and this is what I was saying about earlier, if we place the trapdoor here, it will not work, we need it here. Okay, so the last thing we want to do is come over to this left hand side first, place a block here, redstone dust here, an observer coming away from that trapdoor, whoops, like that. Block here, dust, block here, repeater on three ticks, an observer here, and a block here. Then do the same on the other side. So, first of all, place a block here, dust here, an observer coming away from that trap door, block here, dust here, block here, here, thank you, repeater on three tick delay coming away, an observer off that repeater, like that, and then a block here. So, the moment of truth, does it actually work? So, if we just flick the lever, this should ex this should open and nothing else should happen apart from this should open. Now, whilst this is open, just reminded me, place blocks here, otherwise you're going to get a spillage again. <laughs> then, to make sure everything's clean up here, yes it is, flick the lever, and we should see, like that, all the pistons being extended. Now, because that's happened, we can place our lava in. So, one block here, one lot here, and that should cover the whole lot. Flick the lever, and why we have two like that is because normally it will fall at an equal time. This one didn't because I opened it too fast when it was still flowing, so it's my bad. So as you see, our door closed, flick the lever, yay, everything works. Just finally, if we want to test it for water, just replace the blocks here. That's it, just get rid of the lava. Place water here. And as you can see, this will work too. And there we are. Just just something to note, once we replace the blocks like this, you will see there is still water here, because these now pistons, they are waterlogged. It's a new feature in Minecraft, it wasn't like this before. Now, this doesn't matter, we can place lava on top of this and it doesn't really affect it. But if you don't like it and want to get rid of it, all you have to do is grab a sponge and do that. Or you could, well, I mean, you could take away the sticky piston and cover the blocks and the... Uh, nah, just <laughs> sponges are easier, e sorry, easier if you're in creative mode, or just stick to lava, whatever you like. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. It burns! <laughs> and away with you. Now on to this week's shout out. Now last week I said if you wanted to shout out this week, all you had to do was write, I want to shout out because, and then write when something bad happened to you, but then something funny happened because of that. Now I had lots of comments which were really good, but none as good as the one which won. But before that, I just want to say if you want to shout out next week, all you have to do is write, I want to shout out because, and then write something completely random. So, as mad as you like, I want to, you to fill my comments with absolute randomness. <laughs> anyway, okay, now it's an important matter. Who has won? So, the shout out for this week.
The winner is, drumroll please, when Carl Games with his comment, I want a shout out because if I get a shout out, I would shout out to my whole neighbourhood that I got a shout out. Then my mum would shout at me to stop shouting out that I got a shout out. Too many shout outs. Makes sense. <laughs> so obviously the bad thing is going to be shouted at by his relatives or his mum. And the good thing is that he's in the video, if that's really a good thing. Is that worth it, mate? I don't think so. <laughs> anyway, when Carl Games, this is your shout out. Wow, he's actually removed the whole video. Oh gosh, better do the outro like this then. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video, please give us a like. And if you really loved it, make sure you subscribe with that wonderful subscribe button for more awesome content. Anyway, I'll catch you all guys in the next one and I'll see you later. Bye.